Hey guys, Dana with Sully Photography. I am going to show you guys today how to make a custom watermark in Photoshop Elements. I am using Elements 11. So to make your custom watermark, first thing you need to do is go to File, New, and Blank File. The settings that I use to make a watermark is going to be 1800 pixels from my width, 1200 pixels for my height, and 300 pixels per inch of my resolution. Um, you can make a watermark too big and that's fine, but if you make it too small, that's where you have a problem. So these are the settings I prefer to use. Your background contents down here needs to be transparent. If it's not transparent, you're going to have a block behind your watermark in whatever color that you do it on. So make sure that you keep it transparent and then hit OK. The first thing you want to do is go to your fonts um, and you're going to put in your company name or whatever you're doing a watermark for. Mine, of course, is Sully Photography, so I'm going to type in Sully Photography and I have no idea what's going on right there, so I'm going to try this one more time. <laughs> um, there we go. I have no idea why it does that. So we'll type it in. You can change your color before or after. I'm going to go ahead and change it after since it was white. And I'm just going to change it down to black. And... Um, I totally did that on the wrong thing. No, I didn't. There we go. Okay, so now remember that you're going to crop this, so it does not have to be as large as this checkered background that you have going on right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it kind of big for me to work with. Once you get your font where you want it, now, you know, you have your preset fonts in here. Um, in my opinion, Photoshop 11, Elements 11 doesn't have a lot of good ones. So what I did was I went to dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com, and I downloaded a crap load. <laughs> so um, those are pretty cool. And there's a tutorial that is a just a written tutorial on the internet. Um, if I remember, I'll post a link under the video for you guys of how to up install the text, and I'm sorry, the fonts into your Photoshop, which is actually really quite simple. I thought it wasn't, but it was. So um, that was easy peasy. I did that and now I have this fancy scrolly looking font. So once you get your, your, your name or whatever you're putting up here, you want to go to layer and you want to go to new layer. And now this is where you're going to embellish, if you will. That's what I call it. So I go into your brushes and this was the other thing. I went on uh, Google and I just Googled um, free Photoshop Elements brushes found a ton, uh, got some really cool ones, and I also googled bamboo because bamboo is my thing. So I found some bamboo brushes which I've already installed into Photoshop, but if you have not installed them, all you do is open up the brush that's already here, go to your top corner to your menu, go to load brushes, and um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Go into load brushes. It's going to come up to where I was, where I saved them at, but I just saved them to a folder on my desktop and pick the one you want, hit load, and then boom, they're in there. So we're going to cancel this because they're already in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick, I'm just going to kind of embellish a little bit of what I've got going on. So I here's your opacity and your, and your size for your brush, as always. I'm going to leave my size where it was, um, and I just, okay, and I'm going to take my opacity all the way up. And the whole reason is, is because as you can see, this is like a kind of a translucent um, brush so I don't have to worry about it being solid black which I don't want and all I'm doing is I'm really just gonna kind of embellish my font is is really all I'm doing with this um, this wasn't anything exciting this is not gonna be my watermark but I just doing something real quick to show you guys so let's just say that um, I am happy with it like that for example okay so you're done you've done your little embellishments whatever so now you need to crop this down and with your watermark if you don't crop it down you have all this dead space so when you put it on your image it's not going to be just this big it's going to be as big as this whole entire box and we don't want it that big so we're going to crop it down and basically you're going to crop it as close as you can to the edges of your watermark or design or whatever it is that you've got going on here I know we're all making them for different reasons some for photos some for branding whatever so get it cropped as close as you can click your check mark and then hit done now that's what your watermark is going to look like it will not be that big of course so what I do is I save this in two separate places and the reason I do it is because I've already made this about 17 times today and it seems like if I don't save it in both places I lose it and it's probably because I don't know how to work Photoshop properly <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to go into our brush again go back to your menu and the first option is save brush so we're going to call it script zero okay then I'll also go into my edit hit define brush same thing name it script zero boom done so now I'm gonna close that out 
and I'm going to hit no, I do not want to save. And now we have our image and our brush is already here. But our brush will also be here at the bottom for you. It's going to have um, a, a larger number. Mine came up as four digit number. And you can see that your watermark is this design here to the left. So if you're not on that brush for some reason or another, um, just click that brush and there it is. Now you want to change your color. So you'll go here. I know I want mine white. I also know that I don't want it to be solid white. I want my opacity to be down to about 30% I think will make me happy. Let's say 25 for the hell of it. Okay, so we're at 25%. You can change your size as well, you know, as remember that too. I mean, you can totally change your size while you're in here. I don't want it nearly that big. I want to go about right there makes me happy. So once you get your size and your color and your opacity set, you click it on there and it's done. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit lighter so you guys can see it because I know it's hard on this video thing that I use. But there's the watermark. So that's it. It's done. It's really a very easy and a very quick process um, depending on how detailed you want it to be when you're finished. And um, the only reason I actually learned this recently is because I am just started with some online galleries and you have to watermark your photos so that no one can take them and download them and save them and print them. And the galleries that I use, which is Pixie Set and Shootproof, you actually upload your PNG file to them and then they're just going to sprawl that watermark right across your pictures for you. So that's for protection purposes as we all know and um, when it's right across somebody's face like that they're usually not going to save that image So um, unless they really know how to clean that up. So there's your watermarks and now I'm just being a goofball but there's your watermarks and um, when you save your watermark, let's go ahead and delete all that because it looks silly but that's as easy as it is. And so when you save it you want to go to File, Save As I think I find save this. There it is. I'm going to go, I have a folder that I have set for my watermark, so I'm going to put it right in there. Of course, file it wherever you need to. And when you save this, you need to make sure you save it as a PNG, not a JPEG, not a PSD file. If it's not a PNG, what's going to happen is, is that you're, it's not going to be translucent. So you're going to have a background on it. So always make sure you have a PNG file when you're done. I'm not going to worry about renaming it because I don't want to save it, but um, hit save. And then so you'll always have it in there. PNG options is going to come up interlaced. You can say none or interlaced. I leave it at none and I hit OK. And you have a watermark. So that's that's how, many, how you make a watermark in Photoshop Elements. It's very simple. It's a very easy process. And it only takes a few minutes depending on how detailed you're trying to get. And then you're good to go. Um, if you guys have any questions, always post them under the video for me. Or um, if you have any ideas of what you would like me to make a tutorial on for you guys, again, post them under the video for me. And that's it. That's a watermark in Photoshop elements it took maybe five minutes so there you go I hope you guys enjoy I hope it's helping and until next time